Speaking during Tuesday's hitting of the PAAC, Chairman Dr. Wickham McNeil said the committee wants answers on the status of consultants hired by the CMU and contracts issued by the university. The issues came to light earlier this year following the PAAC's examination of activities at the university. What has happened with the contracts for both Dunswell Campbell as well as for former member of parliament Othniel Lawrence? whether those contracts are still in effect, are they still being paid or not? Have they been terminated? We need a status. I think, bo I think we need to get it from the Ministry of Education because in some cases, in one case, they were being paid by both entities. But we need to, to, to clarify that. Also, there were a number of contractors, sorry, caterers, a number of persons who were hired to do catering. I think, if memory serves me cor correctly, one of the councillors was also a, 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 had a catering contract within the same geographical, in the same constituency. Um, we need to know, are those catering contracts still on? And the Energy Ministry, which will also be recalled by the PAAC, will have to give a comprehensive report on the separation package of former Petrojam General Manager Floyd Grindley. I would like us to get a report on the terms of separation of the General Manager, number one, and number two, what were the, what, if any, was the compensation package. And I say that simply because when, when, we, when we were in sitting in committee, he had indicated he was to have come here one day and did not come and we heard he had gone for emergency back in, in the United States. And my understanding is he never came back after that. I may be wrong. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm surmising. But the, the point is this. He either resigned, retired, or was fired. There must be some... I think as a committee we need to know. Cody and Barrett, Frontline News.